going on guys we are back with another replay analysis this time of codename Kofefe he says it's Cove Thief the debate continues I suppose let me know in the comments how the hell you pronounce that I bet someone's come up with something but anyway this is a 2v2 platinum 2 he is not teamed with his teammate but the other team obviously they are teamed so we'll see how this goes you can get your replay analyzed patreon.com says gib00 and uh yeah go over there replays coaching free play videos all that jazz let's start this over got the batmobile coming out hot here from code name i call him code name or code for short code seems like a cool name Your name is just code i like it all right face off went back to his other guy so it's not terrible this other guy didn't really do much with it, but that's okay. He goes up for a pretty decent challenge here. Just trying to block those angles. Could have won it probably a little bit quicker. But still, as long as you're blocking those angles for the shot, you should be alright. Trying to see what his teammate is going to do. Uh, his teammate here, actually, he has time. Now, the one guy is retreating back to goalie. The other guy just whiffed. And 2v2, use your other teammate when you can. Uh, this, uh, this is a very platinum play, though, where there's no passing. It's mostly just driving down the field. And honestly, it's not the end of the world if you just drive the ball down the field. But if he would have settled this ball down, waited for his team name here, Code, to move up, could have done a little bit of a pass and play, maybe turn this into something. But instead, he, he just throws it out, turns into a little bit of ping pong, and that weird challenge makes Code retreat. A little bit of a bad wall play. Um, and this was also a bad read on this challenge. Um, I understand why he went for it, though. It's not the riskiest play to be at midfield trying to move forward a little bit just in case like your buddy does win that because that'll spill out in front of the net but he misreads it and he drove a little bit extra than i wanted him to now this plays a little sketchy going up this wall like that um if you're gonna have a hard time turning around on a wall worst case scenario is you hit this ball hard to go up your own wall and go over your own net it's a risky play but if like you feel more comfortable than trying to turn on the curve of the wall and make a play you might be better off doing that but his teammate backs him up now we're just bouncing back and forth here a little bit. Getting the dribble going. Okay. So the, oh, the dribble failed a bit. He tried to put it on his hood. And then it kind of fell off. So that's fine. Like, I like the idea of just throwing it to the side. Keeping the offensive uh, pressure going. Um, instead of just doing a forceful 50-50. That might not end up doing all that well. So instead, he can turn it into a pass. It's a little bit too far to the right. But a decent idea here. I like what he's trying to do. I probably would have tried to get a little bit more in front of it and then just throw it directly back to his teammate, but it was a good idea and a good play overall. Barely didn't work out. Nice challenge here from his teammate. Uh, that's what I like to see. Look, when one guy is back and the other guy is coming back, the other guy is the one who should turn around quickly and just force a move out from the dribbler, which is what happens here. He forces the move out, makes it a lot uh, easier of a save for code, and... Um, he keeps the ball out of the net at least. Doesn't uh, get rid of it out of his net uh, area, but now he does. Great 50-50. Great shot by his teammate. And uh, this is just a good dunk. The other guy basically has no momentum. His only chance is to pop that up high. So he jumps up early to win that 50-50, and that just works out. The ball comes out perfectly to him for a 50-50 goal. Well, not a 50-50 goal, but a 50-50 pass to a goal. Right here, both players cheat up a bit. Uh, these are always the risky parts of cheating up is if you lose that second face-off that happens or if they hit it over you. Right here, he loses that second face-off. Square Pants, though, misses the first tip. I actually want to go over to Square Pants real quick, see if he was in ball cam for this. No, he actually did turn off ball cam. Is he, is he on a really far away camera? He's looking at it. He turns off ball cam a little bit too late and just can't creep up to it in time. He did have boost as well. He could have made that play, but he turned off ball cam. A little bit too late. I'm not a big fan of his camera settings, but that's just me. Now it's the counter play. Uh, these plays you don't necessarily have to fly for. Uh, this ball's pretty close to the wall. He could have just thrown this ball off the wall to his teammate uh, in the middle and keeping that forward momentum of the ball. Uh, plus, you save a lot of boost this way. But instead, he flies to it when it's pretty close to the wall. Not the greatest play. Also gets a little bit too uh, underneath. It kills the momentum of the ball, and his teammate... Was going up for that counter play quickly, expecting a wall, probably sideways hit. It just didn't work out. A little bit of a late challenge here, a really awkward challenge too. This one was just strange. I thought he was just going to jump and fly normally through this, but that's the weirdest little aerial thing I've ever seen. Like, fakes it? 
That was strange. It worked. But a little bit of a strange play. I would have liked to see him go up in the air quicker for that play. Just to make sure there's no chance for a shot opportunity there. Teammate misses the pass but destroys the other guy with a bump. And then the back pass, bad communication there. It happens though. It's used. Like you're obviously playing with random people. So. Really bad play by the orange team. Should result in a goal. It does. So I do like this play of trying to throw off the other team. The only problem is he didn't really do a great job at it. It did work. But honestly, Super Dave should have had that ball. Square Pants was kind of close, so I see why you just try and do a little tap somewhere to throw the play off. One thing that I would do is try and handbrake here and get around this ball and try and pop it in the air and just make it go a little bit back. And usually that will confuse the other team because they're expecting the momentum to keep the same way. Just maybe go to the side to side. Super Dave making a really bad play here though. Go back one more time. Yeah, that play, he just side flips way too early for that shot. And it doesn't work out. He also doesn't flip back to net. He has some boost. He should have uh, a front flip there to get uh, momentum up at least to have a chance at this, but he does not. Not hustling back. Code gets the goal. Take it. You're on here. See this face off. That's like your generic. Just flip into face off. It's fine. Now my wife is texting me again. Always ruining these videos, you know? Just ruining them all the time. All right, we'll continue. But he's got the ball. Not doing much there. Good challenge, though. I, I like to challenge early on dribbles. Wait for them to... They don't let them completely set up by throwing it on their hood. You want to try and pressure them while they're in that process because they'll probably not realize it because they're focusing too hard on throwing it on their hood. Okay. Great pinch here, though, from Darrow. Now it's a good chance to move up. I like that code moves up pretty quickly here for what he can do, obviously, because that pinch happened really quick. Uh... Probably should have stayed on the left, though. I'm surprised he thought his teammate would win that. But either way, it's fine. He backs off. And sometimes at platinum levels, like, it's just a good idea to just back off when they have the ball, like, in their zone. And they'll probably just hit it right to you. And this is a perfect example of this. Square Pants has all the time in the world. His code just gives it to him. And Square just, he just aerials uh, for no reason and just lightly throws that ball back. Now they got a great uh, counterattack here, but good demo by Square to shut down some of those plays. Now, this is going to be a tough play for Code, but a good job there. Lightly tossing it back into the same corner. They can't really shoot from there. They're going to have to pass, and he's got another teammate in net to watch that wraparound corner play. Nothing on the world. A little bit of bump in here. Bumping uglies, but it worked out. Except his teammate goes up for this. So right here, you can kind of hear the other guy coming for that ball. Should have probably left it for him. But at least, again, he puts it lightly back into the corner. And in twos, that's not a bad area to be because it will allow your teammate to rotate back in the net um, if he's not there. And then, uh, once again, like, if it's in the corner, two people have to make a play on it to make a goal because you need the pass and the shot, generally. And instead of you throwing it into the middle where only one person has to just shoot it. So it's always a good idea to just lightly roll it onto your wall and then... Force them into a pass where they have to wrap it around that corner, which is normally easy to save. Or they try for a dribble on the wall, which is the better play, but a lot of people don't do it. Just barely missed my square pants here. A little bit of panic by both teammates there going for the same side of the net. And honestly, not really coming close to that ball. But that's okay. Worked out. We get the clear here from Darrow, which is the better play here because uh, uh, Darrow's... He's sunk it into the net. He has a better angle on this. Whenever the ball is above your head, well, if your teammate is back, you should let him go for the play because he's not right uh, underneath the ball. And he can make a better stop or a better hit out. And he uh, can also see more of the field, so he'll know where to throw for open field plays and stuff like that. Again, a great uh, dribble challenge. Code hasn't let any dribbles get by him. He's doing a really good job with that. And a good 50-50 as well. It was right to the middle. That was a good time to just go back for boost. Let Darrow make the next play. He probably could have picked up some welfare and kind of hung around. But they were up by two goals. And I don't mind the passive play going all the way back for the 100 boost canister. And once again, he's trying uh, for that challenge early here. Which I do like. Like when you are the guy up front and trying to like, rotate back. He does go up the wall at first. So it doesn't really work out there. 
but he goes for the challenge here, just trying to put pressure on early. Square Pants is forced to make a move, and it's a very weak move. It, it almost works his arrow gets a little bit confused from that, but I do like the idea of just putting that constant pressure on the person trying to settle the ball down. It seems like Square Pants is always the one trying to settle the ball down, and he's failed on basically every dribble. Like, that's the first one that kind of went his way for a 50-50, but I'm surprised Square Pants is trying to settle the ball down so much because he just continues to fail at the same exact move over and over again. And that's when you want to try and change it up on the teams. When one move is not working for the 10th time in a row, maybe change it up to make a different style of play there. But it doesn't really work. And now it's just some passive play here by Code. And they get the win here. But a great job on the durable challenges. Not a ton to look back on for negatives. Like, he had some. But... For the most part, it was a pretty simple game of playing defense and playing pretty well back there. And uh, I think I'm going to call it right there on this replay analysis. Hopefully, uh, uh, Code can get enough out of it. Square, you're watching. Hopefully, he gets something out of it. And uh, thank you guys for watching so much. And we'll see you next time. Later.